all right good day ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to another video in today's video uh before i all right good day ladies and gentlemen boys and girls so welcome to another video this is denzel and before we continue i'd like to ask you to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already if you are new to this channel just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and i promise we will provide great content I will provide provide great content. All right. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how you can use AutoRig Pro and add corrective shape keys. All right. AutoRig Pro is an amazing uh, add-on in Blender, but the only problem is, uh, like every other rigging tool, you will have some problems. Now I have fixed most of them with wave painting, but we are going to see that if I try to move the arm. I get something that I don't like, all right? So that is something we're going to fix in today's video. If that sounds interesting, you know what to do. Like and subscribe and keep watching, all right? So just hopping into the video, I have uh, keyframes, as you can see down here. So if I play this back, it's a very simple animation of the arm folding, right? So I can see uh, what is going on. Right now, this is very important. So just go ahead and move your arm and just select this IK guy and hit I, location, rotation, and scale. Just, just uh, make this simple animation. But in fact, I'm going to go over with you. So Alt R Alt G, and let's move back to the first part. And we're going to hit I, location, rotation, and scale. Okay, I'm not going to do this because I've done it already, but I, location, rotation, and scale. I'm going to jump to about frame 30, and, and we're going to move this like this, just up to where you see what you don't like. And just go ahead and hit I, location, rotation, and scale. All right, I'm going to shift tab, shift um, back key, just to go back. So in object mode, I have this arm now selected and I'm going, I've added a shape key already, right? So let me jump to frame 30 so that we can see what my shape key is doing, right? Not much, but I think it's better. So you can see with the shape key without, with the shape key without, all right? Very simple. So we can... Uh, decide to animate this individually but of course you don't have that time and you just don't want to waste that amount of energy so I've named this but the name is not really important so very simply we're going to select AutoRig Pro I'm going to hit N and you should have ARP selected I'm just going to clear all this out reset everything all right so we should have ARP down here and in the skin option, all right? So we have shape, keys, driver tools. I'm going to tab into pose mode. And in another video released by, uh, I can't remember his name, he said we should select deformation bones, all right? That's this guy down here. But uh, I know he's the one that made the rig, and I think that video is sort of outdated, or my version of Auto Rig Pro is outdated, I can't say. But that doesn't work for me. So in case you're like me and that doesn't work, what you want to select is the, because basically the driver is following rotations and movements. So if I select this bone and I go into item, if I scroll across my timeline, you see nothing happens, all right? Now, which bone here is controlling movement and which bone here is actually moving where we can see something in the transform move it's the IK here, all right? So you can see this moves. You see it changes. If I play back, you see it changes, all right? So this guy is who I selected. I mean, I tried a different, uh, an array of different other options, but it didn't work. So this guy is who I selected. Now you're going to go over here and you're going to click this pick bone option with this selected, of course. Just pick bone option and it will select that bone for you. Let's go ahead and go into object mode. All right. I'm going to select the mesh, select this shape key. Let me clear it out and select the rig. I'm going to hit create driver. Now you can see an error message pops up. All right. Now this is nothing to be bothered about. 
what you simply want to do is save and just close up Blender, restart Blender. Give that a minute. Let's just load up the file again. And let's select this guy, select this guy and create driver. Wow, that did work. <laughs> Okay, so I did have this problem a couple of times and, okay, oh, all right, all right, select the rig, select the mesh, okay, and create driver. All right, that worked perfectly. All right, but uh, some error messages did occur and I hope they don't occur anymore, but some will occur if you're doing this. I hope they don't occur for you, but they did occur for me. So what you're just going to do, save your file, close, um, Blender, restart Blender, and everything should work fine. All right, now at the first frame here, you can see this turns purple, meaning there's a driver. So AutoRig makes it very easy for you not to have to go into the driver settings and change things. But I did a lot of experimentation with this to get where I am, so I hope this video is very helpful. If it has been helpful so far, I don't know why you're not subscribed, so just go ahead and click that red subscribe button. It's uh, right down there, just click the red subscribe button, really red really big square button it says subscribe in it just click that subscribe button all right so let's keep going i will try to remind you guys in case you forget so now we have these two guys over here so let's go ahead and play back the animation forgive the speed all right now we can see that about here what we uh try to fix begins all right now i want to go like a few frames back somewhere about here or maybe just here and we want to hit zero all right now don't worry if nothing happens just make sure you click to that zero don't click it again once you've clicked it once don't click it again all right now we're going to go over to the last frame where everything messes up and we're going to click one boom everything changes all right okay. now let's go back to zero Play back, play back. You can see this is increasing. Play back, increases, play back. Everything looks fine, all right? So if that didn't work for you, like I said, restart Blender, come back again. Uh, do else to subscribe to the channel, guys, as we are about to finish up. So basically now we can go into pose mode and we can delete all these keyframes, alt R O G, and we just have to test this. I don't know why you're not subscribed. We're almost done with this video, so if you haven't subscribed already, please do. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and press G, and you can see that when we get to that position, our shape key kicks in, all right? Now, in case you think I am not being serious, let's select this, and you can see it kicks in, all right? So the position will have to change, of course. You have to do some things move this around, bring it to about here, but our position, you know, fixes that annoying squishing we got. All right, so I hope this video was informative. If it was, I ask for nothing more than for you to subscribe to this channel just to show your support. Um, and that is basically it, guys, how to fix uh, or make corrective shape keys with AuthorRig Pro. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I never take your time for granted. Do well to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment to see more content like this. And let me know in the comment section what you guys want to see more of, and I'll be sure to do that. But you have to hit that subscribe button first, all right? So I know that you're watching. Thank you guys so much for watching, though. I will see you in another video.